For this recipe, I'm doing a slow roasted front shoulder. So I'm taking the entire front shoulder of a deer, then we're gonna slow cook it so it shreds easily for tacos or burritos. All right, let's do this. Okay. I've actually got an entire front shoulder of a deer right here. I saved it. I like to leave it bone in, so I, I cut it off at the blade, and I've got the whole shoulder. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this, we're gonna sear it, and then we're gonna slow cook it. When we're done with it, it'll shred really easy, and it'll be delicious in either tacos or burritos. So it's super simple. We're gonna first season the front shoulder with some taco seasoning. I've got my own blend, my Live Wild taco seasoning. Um, really your favorite taco seasoning, whatever works for you. And then I'll leave a recipe for some homemade taco seasoning as well if you want. An onion, we'll just slice that up, put it in our cast iron pot. Then I just use a little bit of enchilada sauce, whatever canned enchilada sauce you can find. And because we're camping, just did the big thing of minced garlic, makes it super easy. So there's gonna be garlic, onion, enchilada sauce, and a browned front shoulder, whole front shoulder, bone in of a deer. All right, let's season her up just liberally coat. Just gonna add a little bit of oil in here. All right, I'm just gonna brown this both sides. Nice and hot in the cast iron. All right, I'm gonna throw some of these onions in just Brown them up a little bit. Got maybe half of a white onion in here. Yeah, get a little caramelization on them. You can add some garlic too. About a, I would say two tablespoons. I like it garlicky. Two tablespoons is plenty. Now I'm just gonna add the enchilada sauce here. Pour it over the top. Oh yeah. So I've got the enchilada sauce in there, the onions, the garlic, and the whole front shoulder. I'm just gonna cover it up, and then we're just gonna slow cook it. I'm just gonna try to control the heat where it's not super hot, and it'll probably take, uh, depending on how hot I have it, it's gonna either take three to five hours. You can do the same exact recipe in a crock pot at home, just I do it on high for about five to six hours, or you can do it in your oven. Just put your oven on low, put your pot in there. Same thing, four to five hours uh, on the low temperature. If I'm doing it above the fire like this, it might be 350 degrees, so it'll be a little bit faster. You'll know when it's done because it's just gonna shred. This is gonna just peel right off. So we'll uh, leave it in the pot here, let it cook, hang out, grab a beer, tell some hunting stories. You could even bury this cast iron if you wanted and just come back later and have perfectly shredded shoulder meat for the tacos. This is a really good one to do if you're out camping. Dig a big fire pit, throw it in, put some coals over the top, bury it, just let it cook in the fire all day. That's the desert cruiser right there. Desert cruiser. All right, we're gonna give it a test. Oh, this looks perfect. You know when it's done because it just falls off that bone. It's perfectly shredded. Look at this. It's gonna be hot. Mm. Oh, that's gonna make a killer taco. Look at this. I just pull this piece off and it just falls apart. Yeah, that's great, that's perfect. I got a little bit of oil in the pan here. I'm just gonna fry the tortillas. I got some corn tortillas and then I'll throw some meat on it.
taco try. Mm. Slow roasted tacos, enjoying by the fire. Just a bone in front shoulder of a deer. That's a good end to a hunt right there.